uh, hi everyone and welcome back so based on the based on the features with, which we discussed we try to create uh, these different different services like uh, we divided all these whole system into multiple microservices like there can be a restaurant service there can be a user service food menu service card service and all and they will, they will have their own roles and responsibilities so uh, how we are dividing them let's take a look so like re uh, restaurant restaurant can register themselves so there can be a restaurant service which will have a thread where restaurant can come and just add their details and then there can be an admin who will approve the restaurant on our platform then they will be able to add the venue items and all user can create update delete their profiles user can search for restaurant using the restaurant name or city name okay restaurant can update delete and uh, clean up the the food menu so there is a food menu service where restaurant will log in and they will be able to update delete or create new food food menus okay user can see the food menu user can get the food items based on the meal type or cuisine type user can add remove items from the cart right so there is a cart service where user will see on the the dashboard okay these are the restaurant these are the menu items i will be able to add them so we will be using cart service to add the items to the cart user can place or cancel the order user can apply for the coupons voucher okay user can made a payment using different mode of payment so there is a payment service against a particular order id okay user can get the order status anytime so there is a delivery service which will keep sending the data to the user and user also can ping for the delivery status like where is the current order status and he can track the the order okay so based on all the features we discussed we divided uh, the whole system into these microservices now what we can do is that that is based on our like design how we are going to implement it there can be a one simple uh, graphql api gateway which will give us so we will expose the queries and mutations okay the same interface can be used by either a user so there are three different type of user a uh, restaurant owner uh, end user or uh, delivery guy right all these will use their respective platforms once user is logged in if you are a end user buying something from this platform like some particular you are ordering some food then you will see the restaurant and their food menu items if you are a restaurant admin if you are a restaurant owner then you will see your dashboard you will be able to see all the orders you have received all the payments has been processed all the menu items you can create update delete the menu items if you are a delivery guy then you will be able to see the history of all the deliveries you have made your new delivery target point and the pickup point drop point all these information you should be able to see so based on the use case of who the user is based on that you will be able to publish a correct view to the user and then that uh, that that interface based on the role will fetch the appropriate data if you are logged in as a user who is looking for buying food then you will be able to see the restaurant you can search there is a search platform where you can search for a particular menu item you can search for restaurant you can so all these apis will be exposed from the graphql gateway so graphql gateway indirectly will talk to these rest services okay let's say let's call it as a restaurant service okay so here uh, this is our first restaurant service first microservice which is restaurant service okay so you should be able to communicate with the restaurant service after you are authorized i mean after you have already logged in so this is first restaurant service similarly we keep adding all our respective services and another service can be uh, a user service user service let's call that as a user service because that is managing uh, the data coming from the firebase it can be authentication service and user service call it as a user service here we can call it as a food menu service where user will be able to see the the food menu coming from different restaurant by location uh, all these things so food menu service similarly we can actually iterate it
okay there will be another service which you will be able to connect to that can be the card service and we'll keep adding in the same way Card service where user will be able to add items to the cart right you will be able to place the order you can cancel the order all these things and this will also talk to database now like microservices should be uh, shared, not sharing the database but in our case we can also have a shared database okay where we are doing a read and write lot of things are happening so instead of isolating or segregating the database for each and every microservice so we can think about it firebase user data is managed by firebase okay we don't need to worry about user entity now what all other things we can manage in the in our database like uh, restaurant service which can have its own restaurant master database all the restaurant all the menu items and all food service card service and all we can manage maybe in another mysql uh, database okay so we'll talk about uh, how we can share the database between multiple services or we'll try to have the isolated data source for these different services okay uh, that's it guys uh, thanks everyone